Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Engines of North America video. Today, we will be talking about the odd-shaped and huge electric, the General Electric ELC. ELC locomotive can trace its roots to two previous electrics. They include the EL3A and the EL2B. They, along with the ELC, ran off a catenary system of alternating current. After the Second World War, the ELC would take over electrified operations on the Virginian. General Electric delivered 12 of the electrics number 130 to 141 between October 1956 to January of 1957. The ELCs ran on a C-C wheelbase. They had a top speed of 65 miles per hour and an attractive effort of 98,500 pounds. They weighed in at 158 tons, measured in at 69 feet 6 inches, and they came equipped with a Leslie Typhon A200 horn. In terms of power, since they were electrics, they got their power via a 11,000 kilovolt 25 hertz catenary system. The electricity from the catenary system would flow into pantographs and an at the time new ignition rectifier which would convert electric current from alternating current to direct current. The DC power would be smoothed by a reactor where it would move into six traction motors. Each of the six traction motors was connected to its own individual wheel set. Initially, only the Virginian ran the ELC locomotive and they had a total of 12 on its roster. The Norfolk and Western, after they merged with the Virginian, would number its units 230 to 241. When the New Haven Railroad acquired those units, which would also be how Penn Central got the electric, they would be reclassified as EF4s and would be renumbered 300 to 310. They had a total of 10 on their roster. When Penn Central was created, they'd be reclassified and renumbered a final time. The Penn Central and later Conrail would designate them as E33s they be renumbered 4600 to 4610. The latter railroad would have 10 of the electrics on its roster. The ELC had a rather unique service career. When they were bought by the Virginian, they lasted only a year on their roster since the Norfolk and Western and Virginian merged in 1962. That same year, the Norfolk and Western would discontinue the electrified Virginian trackage. When Penn Central merged, in 1968, they would go on to acquire the electric and would use it along the ex-Pennsylvania Railroad Northeast Corridor. In only 30 years, five different railroads would own and operate the ELC. When Conrail formed in 1976, they would continue to operate the ELC until 1981. This is because Amtrak owned the Northeast Corridor and this made freight service a little bit tedious. Sadly, all ELCs will be cut up except for two examples. Two preserved ELCs include the following. They include Virginian 135 at the Virginia Museum of Transportation in Roanoke, Virginia, and Conrail 4601 at the Illinois Railway Museum. 